Hi guys, Victoria here from the Barn Door Boutique and Art Studio. I'm here today to kind of give a little demonstration on how to make bath salts. This is kind of a pretty one. This is what it looks like. It's in these little vials. You can give them as gifts, pack them for yourself. You pour them into your bathtub and they're beautiful and fragrant. I really enjoy my baths, so I wanted to share this with you. I love it. The uh, ingredients is the Dr. Teal's. It's this bag here. I get this at Walmart. This is pure Epsom salt, matcha green tea, citrus, and camoli, or chamomile. I said that wrong, chamomile. Anyways, uh, Walmart carries a variety of fragrance sea salt, or a pure Epsom salt, and um, they all smell great. Uh, this one happens to be my favorite, and it's just so fragrant when you're taking your bath. It just calms you, kind of puts you in another world, just relaxing. I love it. It's my favorite, so I thought I would share it with you today. So you have your pure Epsom salt. Then we have rose petals, citrus. It's really fine. This is like corn flour. It's kind of, I think it's called corn flour. And then um, fresh lavender. Okay, so I'm going to put this together for you, kind of show you how to do it. And then we're going to decorate the little sack that you can put them in. It's kind of like a uh, barn door boutique-ish. That's how I would look at it. But it's adorable and they're great gifts to give to friends. Make a few, you can sell them. They're pretty awesome. All right, I'm gonna show you up close. This is what they're gonna look like. And I have three in a sack. So I'll go ahead and make it and then we'll do the decorating as well. So I'm going to put a half a cup, because I'm only going to do one. I can, um, you can do as many as you want, so I'm just going to kind of show you how to throw it together. So here is a, a half a cup of the Dr. Teal's Pure Epsom Salt with the matcha green tea, citrus, and camoli. I can't even say that name very, I'm so sorry. Okay, there's your half a cup there. Now, let's see. And we'll start with that. Hopefully it gives me a full, I should have probably measured it first, but I didn't, I can always add more. I'm just gonna put in some of the rose petals, sprinkle those in. And sprinkle in, this is not measured, so don't have to worry about really measuring as far as the little additional. I'm gonna sprinkle in some of the citrus. I also make my own um, orange uh, citrus, or orange peel when it's grinding. I don't have it today, but it's pretty awesome. And let's see, a little of the corn flour. So I got some good colors going on here. Can you see that? Isn't that pretty? Okay, and then the lavender. I buy the lavender from Farmer's Market. I'm just gonna put a little bit in. There we go. That's good enough with the lavender. I'm just gonna mix this together. like it has enough color. Oh, it smells divine. Honestly, this is one of my favorite scents. I know when I made the, um, the uh, organic, um, I am lost for words today. Uh, 
not olive oil, I want to say, um, coconut oil. <laughs> I couldn't think of the name. The organic coconut oil, and then I put the Epsom salts in that too. This is just a dry version. It doesn't have the coconut oil in it. Anyways, it's going to be beautiful. And it smells so wonderful. Okay. So, you take one of your little test tubes. You can buy these at Michael's or Hobby Lobby. They're usually in the wedding section. And to make it easier, you can grab a piece of paper, which I'm just going to tear off here, and you can make a little funnel. Let's see. I'm just going to make like this. It just makes it easier to pour in. So you're just going to do it a little at a time. And We'll get it to go through. There it goes. Okay. Now I'm going to focus on more of the color. I'm trying to try to get more color in there. So we already got the salt. You see that going in? Okay. There it goes. And I'm going to kind of tap it down a little bit. Okay, and then I'm going to grab probably, I'd like to top it off with a little more color. So I'm probably just going to go ahead and grab some more rose petals. This is no rhyme or reason to this. I want to use it for the color, maybe a little bit more of the cornflower. It goes a, a long way. So you could make many of these, give them for gifts, baby showers. And it's so beautiful in your bathtub. Okay, so you just stick your top on and you have it. Now, I happen to have seals for these and it's just, you just need a heat gun you buy the seals off Amazon, they're like a couple of dollars, and they seal very easily, very well. So I like to put them in a pack of three, and I put them in this little bag that I make. Okay, super simple, right? So um, I'm gonna put this aside. Pretend like this is sealed. I just wanted to show you how to actually do it. It was super fast and easy. So to make the little bag, you just take burlap ribbon. This is five inch burlap ribbon. I cut two pieces, seven inches long, and I'm going to just glue them with the glue gun. Actually, I'm gonna take this little thing off and so put glue on the towel. So you wanna do it really straight because it will show, because um, I'll show you why. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and glue. I'm gonna have to, I'm really running out of room for plugs here. So, I just have to make do. Get a couple of my glue sticks. Okay, not ready yet for that one. So I wanna do a really straight line at the, ed and at the edge, or the end of the, one of the ends, I should say. Super straight line because we want it to be completely even. I struggled with the last one I did because my line wasn't super straight. Okay. And then I use a pencil to save my hands so I don't burn myself. 
you just take a pencil and then roll it. Let the pencil take the heat. <laughs> That's what I say. Let the pencil take the heat. Okay. And then by this time it's cooled down. Just let it sit for a few minutes. There you go. Just make sure that it's make sure that it gets to both sides of the ribbon. The burlap actually. Call it. Okay. Now I'm gonna on each side, I'm going to go ahead and glue up on each side. Super straight, though. You want to make sure it's super straight. Side. These are really fun to do, actually. Okay, I'm going to do the last side. And you want to be real generous with the glue because you don't want these to fall apart. I mean, if they did come apart, super easy fix. It's one thing I like about the little glue guns is they have a pointed tip. It's very helpful. Use the pencil. <laughs> So we leave the, this end open. Okay. All right, now I've also cut, I found this wired, covered, wired, um, I don't know what you call this. It's just covered wire, I guess. And it, I cut it about 13 inches long. This is going to be how we secure the bag with this little leaf on it. And it twines and it moves. It's pretty cool. I found this over at Hobby Lobby in the floral department, actually. Okay, let's let that sit. A minute then we're going to turn it inside out just like as if we sewed it it's okay all right i'm going to try turning it inside out hopefully it doesn't fall apart but let's just see what we got just be real careful Try to grab at the bottom and kind of go in like this with your hand. Kind of pull it like that. So it should just look like a square sack. There we go. And then take your pencil, the eraser end, take your pencil and kind of work on it to get the squares or get the corners. I don't know what's wrong with my <laughs> mind today. I cannot speak. Can't think of words. Don't know what's going on. Just weird. Okay, I'm not putting too much pressure, but just enough to try to get my corners popped out. They're a little stiff, so it's not like materials much thinner. I might even take my little nut nippers 
take my ply, my needle nose pliers, kind of help it a little bit. There we go. There we go. There we go. Just to pull my corners out a little bit. And just kind of kind of work at it. And if you pop through, then you can always just glue it. Not a big deal. Remember, it's more of like a little gunny sack type of thing. It doesn't have to be perfect. stick my hand in there try to push this corner in just a little bit more and I was perfectly straight so I don't understand why my corner is not popping out as easy but we're good I'm gonna try taking just a little bit more okay so this is what you'll have here, like this little pouch. So I am going to grab one more vial. So I have three. So I'm just gonna stick all three in here like this. I'm going to fold down the top a little bit. Can you see that? Okay. Just a little bit. And don't worry about these little, um, stragglers and cut them it's supposed to be natural looking so I'm gonna actually I like a little bit of the fray here so I, I prefer that actually just gonna make sure I have a little and then just cut the stragglers off like so now I'm gonna take my um, covered wire and I'm going to wrap it around these three. It's going to bunch them up like that. Hope you can see what I'm doing. And I'm just going to give them a twist. Now, this is hard on the hands. I'll tell you, if you have arthritis, this is a little difficult. But you can use your pliers help a lot. It doesn't have to be super tight, just so it has some kind of a, there, see? And I'm just gonna take these ends, I'm gonna use my needle nose pliers and give them a little wrap so it looks like a curly motion, like this. How cute is that, huh? Isn't that cute? So I'm gonna do the same thing with this one. I'll just fan them out a little bit. Cute, right? I don't know, I just love this stuff, this kind of thing. Like I would totally purchase something like this at a gift store for a friend, whatever. Now I'm gonna get a little leaf. I have a leaf, I forgot to grab it, so sorry. I mean, you can do a million different things to decorate this. I even had little wooden hearts you could put in the center, but I like the natural part of this leaf. So I'm just gonna go ahead and tuck it in here. I did this awfully tight, so maybe I should let 
loosen it a little bit to put my leaf in. Just a little. There we go. I hope you can see what I'm doing. And there we go. Isn't that cute to give for a gift to somebody? Even for a baby shower, for the mother, or a birthday gift. Something you made came from the heart and it smells wonderful. I mean, anybody would appreciate this. I know I would. Well, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Sorry about my words, I forgot. <laughs> Sometimes it just happens. It's doing this, it's just gonna happen. But, here we are. Okay, everybody, if you have any questions, just message me, Victoria Pedroza, Barn Door Boutique, an art studio, please like and sprinkle the love with your friends. I would really appreciate it. And if you're not following me, please follow me. Okay, thank you guys. Have a great day. Bye-bye.